in this four-part video series, we will cover the step-by-step -step guide to listing presentations that convert listing opportunities into successfully signed up listings and successfully sold properties, which result in you getting paid. In part one, we will learn to understand the power of the pre-listing presentation. The pre-listing presentation is in fact one of the most effective sales tools a real estate agent can employ to ensure success in effectively listing and selling property. The pre-listing presentation forms a solid foundation for a successfully listed and sold property as well as a powerful springboard to the face-to-face -face listing presentation to convert more easily. In part two, we will start to work through the actual face-to-face -face listing presentation and how to excel within that meeting. In part three, we will learn the best and proven processes for helping the property vendor understand the likely market value of their property, how to arrive at an agreeable price marketing strategy to ensure a successful sale, and how to help the property vendor understand the importance for property marketing in achieving the best sale price for their property and how to have the property vendor agree to pay their property marketing funds in advance and how to have the property vendor agree to the required commission to engage you as their real estate agent. And finally, in part four, we'll focus on what to do when you have diligently followed all of the steps of the perfect listing presentation, and yet the property vendor is still not ready to commit to signing the listing agreement and engaging you as their real estate agent. We'll cover what action steps you can take to ensure you do convert this listing opportunity into a signed up listing and you do not accidentally walk away leaving good money on the table for another agent just to walk in and take. As we work through this video series, I will be directing you to different links to download my own listing presentation. This is the presentation that I use to personally list and sell 50 properties each and every year. I'll also be directing you to links to download a listing presentation template for you to, to use in your own business going forward, as well as uh, different links for different sales scripts, which you can also use. Depending on which platform you are accessing this video on, if you are having any difficulty locating, locating those links, please make sure just to email me on gail at gailfitzmaurice.com and we will make sure to get those links and those downloads straight out to you. Okay team, let's jump right into part one of this four part video series on the step by step guide to listing presentations that convert listing opportunities into successfully signed up listings, those successfully signed up listings into successfully sold properties, which result in you getting paid. Part one, the pre listing presentation. Step one, understand the power of the pre-listing presentation. The pre-listing presentation is in fact one of the most effective sales tools a real estate agent can employ to ensure success in effectively listing and selling property. The pre-listing presentation forms a solid foundation for a successfully listed and sold property, as well as a powerful springboard for the face-to-face -face listing presentation to convert more easily. So why is this tool just so influential in the listing presentation process? The purpose of the pre-listing presentation is to educate, inform, and position the property vendor for a successful listing sign-up and sale process of their property prior 
to the face-to-face -face listing presentation. Many real estate agents misunderstand the importance of and the use of the pre-listing presentation. They use the pre-listing presentation as a vehicle to launch into an education and information dump as to how and why they are the right real estate agent for the job and as to how and why the real estate company which they work under is better than all of the competition out there. Next, they bang in a printout of an A4 comparative market evidence sheet. And finally, they detail the marketing options and fees alongside an image of some examples of their marketing, perhaps a for sale sign, some online advertising, maybe a property brochure. There are several major issues with this type of pre-listing pack which are inhibiting it from making the required impact on the property vendor. The first being the content is in fact more company focused than customer focused or property vendor focused. Secondly, no one, and let me repeat that, no one actually reads generic packs which are sent to them by any sort of service provider. True, they may flip through the boring self-promoting content to get a general gist of the information. However, what they will not do is engage with it and absorb the information that is being that is contained within it. The pre-listing presentation offers the real estate agent a massive opportunity which is all too often either overlooked by the real estate agent or maybe just simply not understood. Before I detail the contents of a converting listing presentation, um, it's imperative that you understand just how vital the time period between when you first receive the invite to visit the vendor's property to carry out the face-to-face -face listing presentation is up until when you actually get to show up and give that face-to-face -face listing presentation. This period is very vital and important when it comes to listing and selling properties. It's a critical time period in any property no negotiation. In fact, you could even say it's actually one of the most fertile times in the process of listing a property for sale. So that sounds a little bit dramatic, but why is that? And it's because the property vendor has accepted their need to potentially sell their property and they are open to receiving the information on exactly how to do that. The property vendor is open to understanding what the fees and what costs are involved and they are open to understanding the market value of their property. The property vendor is open to being educated and informed and positioned for success in this very vital time period. As real estate agents, we must be very strategic and intentional in the information we provide to ensure a successfully signed up new listing and successfully sold property. So the million dollar question is, how do we ensure the property vendor not only reads the information which we provide to them, but engages with the content so that they can be educated and informed and positioned for success? The answer is by focusing the content on the property vendor, expressing an acknowledgement and understanding of the property vendor's need and ensuring that the content provided is succinct, real and relevant to their property and how you as the local real estate agent will go about effectively meeting their need by successfully listing and selling their property at the best market value in a timely manner. The exciting detail that I would like to share with you about how to get the pre-listing presentation right is there is a proven structure and format to the pre-listing presentation, which makes it effortless to populate and distribute to your property vendors. Follow these steps and add the following listed inclusions to create a winning pre-listing presentation that converts to more listing signups and successfully sold properties. Step one, identify the need. The reason this is number one on the list is simply because it is the most crucial piece of information you as the real estate agent need to extract 
from the potential seller before you ever prepare a pre-listing presentation or give a face-to-face -face listing presentation. In most cases, property is the largest investment a person will make in their lifetime. Property vendors simply do not sell property on a whim. When understanding the value in identifying the property vendor's needs in selling their property, it's important to acknowledge that the everyday person is a creature of emotion and it is these underlying emotions that govern their day-to-day -day lives. So when it comes to a major decision such as selling a property, there will be a need there that is governed by an underlying emotion and finding that need and its governing emotion is the key to success in the game of real estate. Now that might all sound a little overwhelming, however, it's far easier to do than you might think and in fact you'll probably find you use the technique that I will highlight in the next section of this video in your general day-to-day -day life already. The key to success in listing and selling a property effectively is to carry out this technique intentionally with the awareness that you are purposefully attempting to gain clarity on the property vendor's needs and the underlying emotion that is governing those needs when it's coming to selling their property. To correctly identify the property vendor's need or needs in the dynamic of listing their property for sale, use the open questions technique. This is where you ask the property vendor questions which start with the words in no particular order, who, what, when, where, why, and how. So let me explain further. In your preliminary conversation with the property vendor, they may tell you they are interested in selling their property as they would like something bigger. A rookie mistake is to accept this as the property vendor's need and to run with that as the property vendor's reason for selling their property. Yet, an experienced and accomplished real estate agent will know that they are just looking for something bigger is far too surface level a need and has nowhere near enough weight to build a solid pre-listing presentation of. Using the open question technique will help you empathically get to the deeper need or the real emotion that is governing the property vendor's reason for putting themselves and their family through the trauma and stress of selling their property. So here are some examples as to how open questions could be used around the I just want something bigger surface level need which a property vendor has expressed. Why is it that you need a bigger home? What does a bigger home look like to you? When would you like to be moved into this new bigger home? Where would you like this new bigger home to be ideally located? Who do you know that lives in the area you wish to move to? How much is your budget for your new property? Using the open question technique will not only bring you more clarity around why the property vendor is selling their home and their true emotions and motivations around and backing their decision, it will also help build a relationship of trust from the property vendor to you as the real estate agent. The property vendor will feel you are genuinely interested in them and their needs. Once you have correctly identified the need, speak to that need throughout the entire listing and selling process with that property vendor. You will find as you increase in your proficiency in identifying correctly the property vendor's true needs for selling their property, and the underlying emotion that is fueling that need, you will be able to speak to that need in the property vendor with greater impact at crucial points in the deal, such as agreeing the most effective pricing strategy for the property and in the negotiation stage of an offer for acceptance on the property. 
This questioning technique is often called the five W's and how questioning technique. To learn more about this style of questioning, download my free ebook on emotions are the fuel behind every seller's decision to sell. Um, just again, that link will be attached to today's video, so just go ahead and click it. You will also find a downloadable link to my script on how to question and engage with the property vendor prior to the face-to-face -face listing presentation. Okay, moving on to step two of the pre-listing presentation. Prepare the cover letter for your pre-listing presentation. Follow this effective format to create an opening letter which captures the property vendor's attention as well as informs them of the state of the local property marketplace. The opening letter will also detail what is included in the pre-listing presentation. Opening paragraph. This paragraph should start with thanking the property vendor for the opportunity to carry out a pre-listing or listing presentation on their property. Never forget that good manners opens doors. The meat of this opening paragraph should acknowledge the property vendor's needs in relation to selling their property. The simple reason for this is to show that you have listened and understood what the property vendor has shared with you regarding their need around the sale of their property. Paragraph two. This paragraph will begin to position you as a local property market expert. This paragraph will detail to the property vendor the state, the exact state of the local property marketplace with the use of facts and figures alone. This paragraph will not use any opinion based language or persuasive type or style of language. Its purpose is simply to inform the property vendor on the important facts which are relevant to the potential set success of the sale of their property. This paragraph is best detailed with the use of bullet points. Paragraph two should include the following data. The total number of properties which make up the local property marketplace. The total number of successfully sold properties in the marketplace within the last 12 month period. Year to date. The total number of properties in the local marketplace which are listed for sale. The total number of properties which are of the same style, for example, townhouse, villa or farm size, which sold within the last 12 months year to date and that that number as a percentage of the total sales in the local marketplace. Paragraph three. This paragraph also suits bullet point style of paragraph. This paragraph will detail for the property vendor what they can expect to find within the pre-listing presentation. The pre-listing presentation should include the following and should be listed in simple terms in paragraph three. So the property vendor understands what you are detailing for them. Side note, I have listed the below detail of what is to be included in the pre-listing presentation in real estate language for the purpose of today's video. To get a copy of my opening letter and how I detail this content to the property vendor within the letter, click the link attached to this video. So paragraph three advises the property vendor that the upcoming sections of the pre-listing presentation will include the following. An explanation of what CMA is and why we use CMA evidence relevant CMA evidence of properties which are similar to the property vendor's property, which successfully listed and sold within the previous 12 months year to date. Clickable links to the online advertising for these comparable successful sales and a detail of any properties which are currently listed for sale, which could either be considered direct competition to the property vendor's property or could be considered a great property to leverage the vendor's property off to ensure a more superior sale result. Clickable links to the online advertising for these properties. An explanation of why correct property marketing is so effective in achieving the best sale price for a property and a list of the suggested marketing spends, the listing agreement with fees for the property vendor's perusal. Paragraph four explains what will happen 
after receipt of the pre-listing presentation. For example, you'll call the property vendor directly to confirm a day or time for it to meet for the actual face-to-face -face listing presentation. Or that you'll be calling them to run through the included information and ascertain if they have any questions prior to a face-to-face -face listing presentation. Or in best case scenario, you will just be calling to confirm that you will be attending the property at the already agreed date and time. This fourth paragraph should also link to a selection of your client testimonials or agent reviews. It's important to note, the opening letter and the content of the pre-listing presentation will position you as a local property market expert, which will continue to build on the energy of trust from the property vendor to you as their real estate agent. To get a copy of the opening letter that I use in my pre-listing presentations, click the link attached to today's video. Okay, let's move on to step three in preparing a powerful and compelling pre-listing presentation. Before you detail the comparative market analysis in the pre-listing presentation, explain to the property vendor why comparative market analysis is so important when we are working to ascertain the perceived market value of a property. Have you ever had a conversation with a tech expert and it feels to you like they are speaking a completely different language, yet they look completely relaxed and confident in what they're saying and you kind of possibly sort of understand what it is that they're talking about? Well, believe it or not, in my experience, that is how the general population of homeowners feel when us real estate agents throw around words and phrases like comparative market analysis. As proficient real estate salespeople, we understand when the prospect is a little confused or overwhelmed in a sales conversation, it causes a kink in the flow of the sales dynamic and in the building of trust from the property vendor to the real estate agent. To avoid this manifesting in your sales dynamic with the property vendor whom we have created this pre-listing presentation for, make sure to allow a small section in your pre-listing presentation before you actually detail the comparative market analysis to just simply explain what comparative market analysis is and why it is important in ascertaining the potential market value of a property. And how the comparative market analysis data, which you are about to detail to the property vendor, relates not only to the property vendor's property, but also the property vendor's needs. Remember, the secret sauce of engaging the property vendor in the pre-listing presentation is by always referring the content to their need and their property. The key is to ensure the content which you provide is relevant and relatable. To see how I explain comparative market evidence to my property vendors in my pre-listing presentation, just click the link below today's video. Step four to the listing presentation is to detail relevant comparative market evidence along with clickable links to the online advertising for comparable sales and competitive listings. At the beginning of today's video, I explained that the purpose of the pre-listing presentation is to educate, inform and position the property vendor for a successful listing sign up and sale process of their property. And it's in this section of the pre-listing presentation that the magic comes together. To this point in the pre-listing presentation, we have been building our authority as the local property market expert and continuing to lay the groundwork to show the property vendor that they can trust their decision to engage us as their real estate agent. However, now we reach the section in the pre-listing presentation where we educate and inform the property vendor with real and relevant content on their property and its likely position in the local property marketplace. We do this by educating and informing the property vendor so they come to the same understanding 
of the value of their property as us the professional real estate agent has. This is achieved by providing the property vendor with relevant and informed content. You might remember I mentioned earlier that in more lackluster pre-listing presentations, the real estate agent just simply bangs in an A4 list of comparative properties. The list generally compiles of a photo of the exterior of each of these comparative properties, uh, some sort of detail on the property, maybe the sizing and the price it's sold at and possibly when it's sold. It's relevant, but it's literally so surface level that it will make zero impact on the property vendor. In this section of the pre-listing presentation, the most effective way to not only explain and detail comparative market evidence so as to position the property vendor to be agreeable to the price marketing strategy which you suggest for their property is to take the property vendor on a journey of understanding so that they become so informed on the market evidence themselves that they fully embrace your expert market opinion or advice for the sale of their property. This can be done by providing clickable links to the online advertising for each comparable and highly competitive listing. The link will allow the property owner to click through the online advertising where they can view the full suite of photos to the competitive or comparable properties along with being able to view the professionally written sales text for that property along with the listing price and where sold, you know, the sold price. Providing the comparable market evidence to the property vendor in this manner, as opposed to a bland A4 printout, not only educates and informs them on the reality of the potential of their property in the local marketplace, it also helps the property vendor come to the best pricing conclusion themselves rather than you having to literally jump through hoops and even worse having to list the property at an unrealistic price for weeks or months while the property vendor waits for the reaction from the market before they come to an understanding of the value of their property or an understanding of how the marketplace views their property. To see how I collect and share CMA evidence with my property vendors, click the link attached to this video. Okay team, we're almost there for today's video. Let's move on to step five. Let's detail why effective property marketing gets better sales prices and detail the suggested marketing spend on the property vendors listing. Having sold advertising for 12 years before I entered the game of real estate over a decade ago, there is one thing I have come to understand when it comes to successfully selling advertising or any marketing style products. And that is show the results of the advertising or the marketing activity first, then follow up with the benefits before you ever try to sell any style of advertising product. The reason for this is anything advertising or marketing spend related is generally intangible. So people cannot touch it or hold it, what it is that they're spending their money on. And if you cannot clearly show the results to the investment, the average consumer will be highly skeptical of the spend. However, Let's now consider the journey we have been taking this property vendor on through the pre-listing presentation. They have just spent the previous section of the pre-listing presentation looking through successful marketing campaigns of successfully sold and highly competitive property marketing campaigns through the clickable links you have provided to them in the comparative market analysis section of the pre-listing presentation. Now is prime time to explain to the property vendor why property marketing is so effective in achieving the best possible sale price for a property. Following this explanation, then detail the actual results of marketing campaigns from, recent, from a recent listing which you or the real estate company which you work under successfully sold. For example, you could share a report which details a recent Facebook advertising campaign or a report from the property portals which show the number of hits a property campaign has had on the property portals. 
You could show a photo or a video of the number of people who attended a recent home open that you had, um, of one of your hot new listings, or you could also show maybe a situation where you updated or you took over a listing and you completely changed the, uh, the photography for that listing and the difference that that made in getting the property successfully sold. As long as you are showing evidence of results of a successful marketing campaign spend. Complete this section of the pre-listing presentation with a simple list of your suggested marketing activities and the spend associated. Okay team, step six, wrap up the pre-listing presentation with a fully filled out listing agreement detailing the commission involved in engaging you as the real estate agent. There are two key yet powerful reasons you offer absolute transparency at this point about the terms of your listing agreement and for having such commanding clarity on the cost of engaging you as the property vendor's real estate agent. Firstly, and most importantly, top performing real estate agents, in fact, top performing and I think set their own price and have the confidence and authority to hold their rate. I can tell you that I am the most expensive real estate agent in my marketplace, but yet I decided to be the most expensive real estate agent in my marketplace, literally from my first year in real estate. And here is why. When you are so confident in your ability as the local real estate agent and you can commandingly set your price, the reaction from the property vendor is in fact trust. They trust you are very good at what you do and they want a competent and accomplished real estate agent to represent their property for sale in the local marketplace. It's important to note, this quietly commanding attitude will actually only work when you have followed the steps that I am detailing for you here. To create a powerful and compelling pre-listing presentation, and it'll also, as you, as you grow in authority in your local marketplace through consistently listing and selling property and achieving winning client testimonials. If you try to attempt this quietly commanding attitude um, and approach with really no evidence of activity in the local marketplace, or if you're lacking in your work, so for example, if you're not willing to provide a pre-listing presentation to this type of standard, the standard that I'm teaching you here, it, it's, it'll, it will likely, this attitude will likely backfire um, as the local property vendors may feel that you're arrogant and full of hot air. So the second and almost as important as the first reason for being transparent about the terms of your listing agreement, the agreement that you're offering the property vendor to list a property for sale, and for having such commanding clarity on the cause of engaging you as the property vendor's real estate agent is because if the property vendor is not quite in agreement with your figures, so with your costs, when you sit down to the face-to-face -face listing presentation, then the seller will raise this objection with you. As proficient salespeople, we all know that it is in the objection stage when we are dealing with the nitty gritty and we're talking about money, that the real conversations are happening, and deals are struck. It is the objection stage, the nitty gritty of the deal that we do business, my friends. Okay, to wind up this section of the pre-listing presentation, it is my advice that in today's world that you send the pre-listing presentation digitally. This is, makes it very easy for the property vendor to access the document both on their phone and the laptop. The pre-listing presentation is best sent 24 to 48 hours prior to the face-to-face -face listing presentation. Once I personally have sent my pre-listing presentation to my clients, I very often then send them a text message to let them know that I have sent them via uh, digitally a pre-listing presentation um, and that it should be in their inbox and if they have any questions, just to let me know. To get a copy of my complete digital pre-listing presentation and to receive the pre-listing presentation template for use in your own business going forward, click the link attached to today's video. 
Okay team, in part two of this four-part series on the step-by-step -step guide to listing presentations that convert listing opportunities into signed up listings and successfully sold properties, we will be focusing on the actual face-to-face -face listing presentation. I look forward to seeing you there.